Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Engineers Let's Build. I forgot to do the waving animation, it's fine. So today we're going to be finishing up this little RV build that I did that I was starting a uh, live stream with. Uh, but that fell by the wayside because again, I don't do survival and it was a survival series. But I did want to come back to this ship to uh, kind of finish it up and you've seen the uh, cinematic that happens. So let's get into finishing up with stuff I want to do. Uh, finish out a little bit of the shape, like this front end needs a little bit of help, like the inside is great, the outside needs a bit of help. Um, and then uh, the button for the door needs to be added, and then a little coat of paint. So let's get into the time lapse. Alright, so this is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed both the uh, intro and finished cinematics. Um, I I kind of did this a lot quicker than I thought, so that's good. Um, I'm definitely not 100%, more like 80% on liking the paint scheme. There was just not a lot of blocks to work with to paint to get a lot of detail. Uh, the floor especially um, was pretty hard. Um, I'm still not convinced on this kind of like checkerboard pattern thing, but yeah, um, yeah, I like I like how the cinematic turned out. I think there's still a little too much orange, but it kind of works with all the uh, accents, the gray accents on all of the uh, the space engineers blocks themselves, so that works out. And we do have a little bit of yellow and a little bit of green to make it so it's not overwhelmingly orange. But I was kind of inspired by both the uh, Consolidated Outland look in, in Star Citizen and also the Argo look in Star Citizen. Both of them play very heavily into orange. Um, I know this is supposed to be a RV type, so not really along those lines, but I guess the uh, the Nomad, which is Consolidated Outland, has a lot of orange, but it, instead, of, basically it has the quantities reversed on them that I have here. It has 
a ton of gray and accented it orange where I have a ton of orange and accented in gray. But that's just something I wanted to do. One, uh, because everything's already accented in gray. Two, because I am not consolidated out loud, but yeah, you, yeah. Uh, is what I decided to do. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the paint scheme and how the ship turned out. Uh, there will be a link to uh, the workshop page to get this ship. Um, I finally am putting something on the workshop. It's been so long. Um, I think we'll have one more filler episode, and it will be a filler episode um, next week. And then we'll be working on the what has grown to 1,007 or 1,070 meters small block ship. So definitely share this around and get ready to see the madness unfold. And we will be starting from almost scratch. I just wanted to do a lot more designing of it. Uh, before we actually get into building it that way i know vaguely where stuff's gonna go and we'll progress through it a lot faster uh but next episode we will be doing stuff that will help us or that will go into the larger ship so get subscribed and prepare for that um or whatever it is get subscribed and, and ring the bell for that i don't know i don't know how that works anyway um like the video if you like guys and leave a comment if you got any suggestions or just tell me how you liked this build and go pick it up on the workshop. Um, I should be able to get the uh, mod list for this in there. Um, it's basically a small block mod and then a uh, panels mod and the ramp mod. I think that's basically it. But that's it for me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.